Hey guys, uh, this is Pi. Uh, um, today I'm gonna review the uh, 1998 Toyota Crown Raya Salon. So this is 98 model. So I believe if you if you are my one of the follower that watch most of my uh, review, you probably gonna see the the difference between the uh, 96, 97 model and 98 model. So this one is <clears throat> particularly 98, but they changed the, the whole uh, body style in 99, which I will be able to import next year. But for this year right now, it's the, as much as I can do is 98 model because of the 25 years old US import laws. So like as you can see the grill, the grill is, is the more like um, uh, vertical lines, more vertical lines on the grill uh, compared to the uh, 96, 97. I think that's what I believe. Uh, and also, um, yeah, the headlights looks a little different. Or maybe the owner put the new uh, clear uh, signal lights. So it lo looks a little bit different. But anyway, so this is the car that I have. It is about uh, 126, 27,000 miles. I'm oh, sorry, uh, kilometer. So it's about like 77,000 miles. So it's pretty good. And the car is really good condition, especially on this one. The, that makes it different is the the alloy wheel, the JDM alloy wheel, it looks really nice. The 18 inches wheel on this car, especially with the black color, and that the paint is in like almost new condition. You know, I don't see any scratch or damage or anything. This car looks really good. I mean, if I have to put make it much better, uh, I will put the uh, uh, the front window tints. It will be much nicer. And the engine is uh, one JZ. Uh, 2.5 liter inline six one jz ge engine so non turbo but but stays good you know i mean it's, i'm not complaining it's it's it it works you know it's like around like 200 horsepower so it's perfect for daily and uh, this car looks very good it looks more original than any other cars you know and uh, it it's sometimes it looks like like maybe older Mercedes, like E-Class, like E3, E350, E300, you know. But yeah, this is a little smaller version. And yeah, of course Toyota, so it's more reliable, I would say. Um, yeah, it, like particularly this car, I don't have any complaint. The paint, the color, the choice of the wheels, and the cleaners, like everything is good. And I believe, I think if he put the uh, like lower spring, spring or, or quiet cover, that's the reason why it's a little bit like a uh, lower on to the ground and it looks great though it looks great and um yeah just, just, you can see the like how shiny the paint is i'm not even like like you know buffing or anything yet i just wash it pretty much that's it and um, i'll show you inside too like the things like make sense and things like more like a normal car than than any anything else you know all right uh I'll show you the trunk and I'll start the engine as well. So this is it. I'll show you the close-up of the rings. It's um, pretty clean. There's no damage or anything at all. You know. It's a Raya Salon. It's not the uh, Crown Magister. It's Raya Salon. I believe the tail lights looks makes it a little bit different than the older one. Maybe, maybe just me. <laughs> right, let's see inside, and I'll start the car off also. So just like regular Crown, you know, there's the uh, trunk opening buttons in here, and the uh, power uh, uh, mirror folding mirrors and stuff and I believe it's heated mirror also and this is the uh, uh, maintenance like um, engine oil change and stuff like that so let me open the trunk to press the button oh this is a key and this is the lock and lock button here um, and also this is for the uh, hood um, it's a driver side power, power seat and a side airbag as well. Alright, let me get into that. <laughs> so engine starts really nice. It's aircon is cold, yes. We need the air condition. 
in Texas is is hot, really hot. So here is the um, hundred and twenty-five thousand. So it's about like I said, like seventy-seven thousand in miles. And uh, those uh, air conditioner swing. Like you can see that thing is moving, swinging. And uh, it has an aftermarket Pioneer CD player. I hope it has the Bluetooth. Anyway, um, this is the dashboard, and it has a the uh, oh, see that this is the the buttons. The, the lights gonna show up if the passenger or uh, airbags turn on and turn off. You know, like uh, uh, before that, it had it, that doesn't have that button. So it's that's a different from the 1998 models. And uh, down here, just a regular shift button, and um, this is my phone case. Um, what do you call it the um, cup holder yep it's cup holder and um it's my phone case um I, I can close it because of the cup holder so you can just remove it to close it and this is another this should be the uh the, you know what? there's the uh, one more outlet here too i don't know why yeah, but anyhow um this is the inside very um clean this is pretty um pretty solid I like the seat it's a fabric is very soft and um, it's pretty nice all right I'll show you the back seat too let's see the back seat here's the back seat and uh, I believe the original owner really wants to keep the original carpet so he put the aftermarket red carpet not sure why and this is the uh, the rear button from the um, you know CD player and things to change and radios and stuff. And this is a Timbo cup holder and, and a super light up And this is the back seat. Looks very nice. Very clean. And here's the trunk that I just opened it. And um this should be the um the spare tires here <coughs> and other stuff here. And uh, let me show you the uh, engine. The engine bay looks very clean too. There you go. I believe it has the uh, time and belt change already. It has stickers on it. And um, yeah, this is the um, one JZ engine looks very healthy I drove around and um, I don't have any issues or anything it's a pretty nice car pretty nice clean car let me stop it and I'll sh so what do you guys think of this car let me know any comments any suggestion really appreciate it and um, I really appreciate that you guys are watching my channels all the time and um, I recently um, yeah I did I, I just love doing those the review and I do have some like a um, like nice car are coming soon hopefully next year I, I bought the R34 skylight so hopefully I'll get it soon but the legal date is on march so 99 march so i have to be i have to wait until 2024 march to get imported so anyway thanks for watching really appreciate it let me know what you think of it all right thank you so much see you guys later